Pedal, boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's you. Hey, I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my iPod vlog, number 192. Today is the first part of Monday Madness. Monday Madness, Monday Madness, Monday Madness, Monday Madness. Vlog number 192, and today is Monday, July 11th, 2016. Yesterday was Don't Step on a Bee Day. So I hope you didn't step on a bee yesterday, because that's painful. For both you and the bee, especially if you're barefoot. If you stepped on it with a shoe, you probably wouldn't feel anything. But it's still painful for the bee. Anyways, so don't step on a bee. Okay? That was yesterday, July 10th, Sunday, 2016. Was don't step on a bee day. But today is, today is Monday, Monday, Madness. First part. Second part of Monday, Madness I'll do later on today. Okay, right now, I'm going to talk about law. See, if you don't obey the law, things happen. Some laws are stupid. But anyways... The only way to change a law is to protest, and the law would be changed, and then it'd be nice for all the people to vote, and the majority rules, because we're in a republic, not a democracy. If it was a democracy, everybody would vote, and then everybody would have to vote someone in to lead them, and, and then if they don't like the guy, they could vote him out. But that's not the way a republic works, like the United States of America. Once you vote someone in, they do their term, unless they get uh, indicted or something, and then they get thrown out. But you can't vote them out. You know, we listen to just do a vote. We don't vote for everything in the United States. If they did, they'd be, then the president wouldn't have to do anything. Congress wouldn't have to do anything. They'd just say, hey, let's let the people vote. And then we just take, we make all the rules and stuff. Later on today, I'll be talking about the second part of Monday Madness. Vlog number 193. I'll be talking about rules. Rules. Some rules you can break. Some rules you can't. Rules are like in when you work, go to work and stuff. There's certain rules. Today we're talking about the law. And the law is cops. And you should support your local police department and police and so forth. But be careful because some cops are nuts ball, nut balls. You know, and they shouldn't have been cops in the first place. But that's their, if they, how they pass the psychological evaluation. evaluation I don't know. How do, you, uh, how do you pass a psychological evaluation to become a cop? And then you go around being trigger happy. You know what I mean? If you're going to be a cop, don't be trigger happy. Because people out here, we don't want to be shot. Don't reach for your, don't reach for anything when a cop wants, you know, if you have a weapon or something, don't reach for anything because the cop might shoot you. Don't reach for anything in your pockets even if you, if you don't have anything because the cop might shoot you. So, make, just pretend that every cop you know is trigger happy and just be as calm as possible, as calm as possible around them and maybe you won't be shot. Ooh, and, and some other rules for not being shot are, one, don't be black. Two, don't be poor. Three, don't be a man. Oh, <laughs> Four, you have to be a woman. And five, you have to be rich. So if you're a rich woman, you can get away with it. Like Hillary Clinton, she got away with mm, mishandling sensitive emails. But if she was a white male, she would have been probably indicted or, or fined. Ooh, a slap in the hand, you know? But if she was a black woman, she'd be put in jail for a few years, maybe, and indicted and then fined. But if she's a black man, oh, whoa, oh, she, she would never see her in prison, manager. She'll be there forever. Just saying. That's the way law works in the United States of America. God bless America. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but, you know. Most shootings involving a cop and a person is involves a man. And a few percent is more than that is a black man. But it doesn't matter. As long as you're a man and you reach for your, anything in your pockets, you will be shot more often than not. Which is stupid, right? Women reach in their pockets all the time and, and, and they hardly ever rarely get shot. You rarely hear about, ooh, this, the cops have shot this woman. She's got bazonkers. Only when they actually have a weapon there pointing at the cops to try to shoot them or something. Has that woman ever been shot? Really? Men have it really bad in America because we're profiled. But profiling in some way is good, but some, some way is not. Like if you're looking for a certain suspect based on a sketch, you have to look for everybody who looks just like that guy or gal, right? How come for every woman in prison there's like 10 men in prison? It's like men commit crime 10 times more or, or women are more deceptive than get away with it more often. <gasps> there's more, there's a lot more men. There's 10 times more men in, in prison than, than women. I'm, I'm just like, what? Half of them are black men and the other half are white men. And then there's minority groups who barely make up a percentage. I'm like, how can we be 50-50? The United States is like, what is it, 25%? African American and 70% or more white and then the rest is 
mixture of white Hispanics and brown people and Asians and whatnot. With the 75% that was left. Right? So, this is not 50% white and 50% black. If that made sense, then that would make sense about the, about the prison. So, so a lot of black people going to prison, especially men, more often than, than white guys. Black men more than white men. Because, uh, is it poverty? Is it training? Is it because cops are really trigger happy and want to arrest every black dude they see? I don't know. I'm not a black guy, so I don't know about that. If you have any opinions about that, say that below in comments, suggestions and whatever and if you like this video thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down and subscribe to this channel subscribe to my other channels my main channel my other channels uh my main channel is mr blue for you 972 guess because in this channel is my second channel mr blue for you guess vlogs and then i have my third channel uh guess is run stuff which i'm gonna put stuff on pretty soon and my fourth channel is emo warrior garrison so check them out look for channels look for feature channels down there somewhere and subscribe to them and ooh. You subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to your channels, I guess. If you have a channel, show me down below. Tell me, hey, I subscribe to your channel because you subscribe to me mine. And I will. I'll check out your channel, subscribe to it. And if I like the content, I'll actually make a comment or something on under your stuff. I might not like your stuff because I don't always like stuff because I don't want it to show up on my like list because I don't have that many videos under my like list. I don't even like my own videos hardly except for one. Which was my first video I made in my main channel, which was Goofy. Anyways, today we're talking about the law. So obey the law. If the law says to do something, you do something. If the law says don't do something. Most of the time, the laws tell you not to do something. You know what I mean? Like, don't walk in the middle of the road or a car hits you. But that's kind of logical because why would you walk in the middle of the road and, and not expect a car to hit you? That's what crosswalks are for. Crosswalks! But even when you're crossing a crosswalk, sometimes idiots in cars don't realize that they're going to run over you and start beeping at you. Like, what? You're the one in the car. You can kill me. I can't kill you if I hit your car. I'm a, I'm a pedestrian. I'm walking across the street. And your, hit, your car hits me. More likely, I get killed. Your car gets a little dented. Oh, my God. And I get my blood on your car. Oh, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mister. I, I dented your car and got blood all over it. And you had to run over me and I got brains in your tire. <laughs> really? Watch for pedestrians. And if you're driving, pedestrians have to right away, dodo. Let them cross the road. Even if they're running the middle of the road and they're being an idiot, just let them go across and then slow down and then beep at them. And that's the only time you do that because if they're not using the crosswalk, then you beep at them. If they're using the crosswalk, don't beep at them! Because it could be you. It could be me. Because <sighs> I don't drive, dodo. Anyways, later on, Monday Madness, Monday Madness, we'll talk about rules. Rules. Some rules are stupid, you know. Your parents give you rules and you don't really want to follow them because some of them are, you think they're really dumb and idiotic. But some rules are to protect you. You know, you know like you have to go to bed at a certain time because you have to get up to go to school or do something or you go to bed at a certain time to get to work or whatever you do in the morning. And some people, they try to stay up and then they get up early and then they regret it and they say, why didn't I just go to sleep? Why don't I give myself some rules? We'll talk about that later on today. On the second part of Money Madness, Monday Madness, probably after 4 p.m. today. Right now it's 11, 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. I am Garrison, your host. And you're not me, you're the guest. <gasps> this is a fascinating digital world. And I'm glad you're in with me. <gasps> and but bear the law. Unless the law says, don't read your Bible or infringes on your rights of religion or not religion. Or, you know, if the law says to do something that you don't want to do, like worship this God or not, read the Bible or not. You know, if, if, if the law tells you to, oh, you know, have a religion or not religion, it shouldn't have that because you should have a freedom of religion or freedom of not having religion. If also, if the law says not to talk, you know, you can't talk against the government, that's your infringement of uh, your freedom of speech. So if you don't have the freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of protest, then you don't have any freedoms. Because if the laws say against that, you could break those laws because they're idiotic. But if the law says you have all that, then you can enjoy those laws and yeah, don't be too dumb in, when you're protesting it and start attacking the cops because that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to protest and be seen on TV and so and the social medias and whatever and tell everybody what's going on and then the laws will be changed. Ooh, because this is a Republic and the Republic elects its officials democratically, and democratically means us, we the people. Okay, just remember that. 
And if you're from a country that doesn't have those freedoms, <gasps> you need to move somewhere else. Or protest or start a revolution where you get those freedoms for your country. Yes. And I hope and I pray that all of you watching this in whatever country you are <clears throat> have the freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom of religion or no religion, and freedom to, you know, protest or, or congregate or, or, or say something against your government or whatever if you have to. You know, freedom of social media and whatnot. Yep. Anyways, I gotta go. In the vlog, in the vlog. Anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Comments, suggestions. And don't forget to check out my other channels. Look for channels, look for future channels. Subscribe to this channel, my other channels. And I will see you later. <gasps> in the vlog, in the vlog, in the vlog. Bye. Money Madness, part one ending. Obey the law. Unless the law infringes in any of your rights. Okay? Ooh. Bye. In the vlog.